You ever have that moment where you're like, I've checked my BIOS, I've checked my graphics driver, I've checked all these other drivers, and I just can't really figure it out, and Windows is acting weird, and you just didn't check Mark. That chipset mark. Well, today we're going to be looking at the benchmarks of what can be improved, which updating your benchmarks with a chipset update. It goes throughout almost all the sockets and you can basically check this periodically and I've done this for the Zen family, for the Zen Plus One and now the Zen Two and I definitely did fix some stuff. My name is Mac here at the MacGyver 7 channel and today we're going to be looking at the patch notes, what's going down and how to select this since this is new for a lot of people and what the performance is. So let's get to it. So this usually can be found underneath driver support. You select this, it's going to reroute us right back to the same page that we're at right here. Scroll down, you're going to see where it says graphics. You're going to go all the way down over here. You can go to processors and you will have stuff that's like going to be more dependent on top of there, but that's not what we're getting down today. What we're getting down to, because this usually is the Ryzen Master software, what we're doing is chipset. Chipset, you're going to find yours right over here. Now, first gen Threadripper, second gen Threadripper, the majority of almost all the market on the Ryzen series that's below that and then just pretty much anything past that. So today what I'm going to be looking up and showing is directly right here. Once you get all those and you find yours, mine second gen, I'm going to go ahead and hop over here. And this is where we're going to get to our patch notes, which is pretty cool. So on top of this, we're going to open up and that's where we get to the revision of 2.10.13.408. Darn, that's a numeric fumble over there for the 19th when it comes into us hot and fresh 50 megabytes very easy to install you download it you're going to open that software and it's going to show you like a kind of a cool little menu two things to notate when you're doing this situation a it's going to basically do a analysis of your systems and boot in it's going to tell you what's up just hit install it's that easy now i've already done it i don't need to do it and yes i'd like to quit the installer but you're going to find it and look how easy these are in comparison, the Radeon software in this is pretty much the same emblem, except for one is going to have a white with a black background. The other one's going to be transparent with a black emblem, which is pretty cool for both of the designs. I like it for AMD. It's pretty awesome. But figure I'd point that out. Does is that how easy it is to install? Within this patch, this is going to affect all the way from the third generation down to the, well, following listed which is pretty cool. There's a big list. Now, some of the ones that they do have for as far as the power package, for as far as the power plans required for the situation in Windows 10 in the 2019 update. I've noticed that personally myself, this helps out a lot. When you switch over to just the Ryzen power plan, it works really well. I don't know why it, it works better than the high performance sometimes. I think this is hilarious. Release highlights, fewer drivers updated. Okay. Cool. Great headline. Moving on. Fix issues. I think that's a little more exciting. The install for as far as the fail launcher and the execute for folders and the name portions of the non characters and also looking down for the situation for the downgraded old versions. Also looking in the install Windows 10 and the Russian language for as far as the package install. And we're looking at the failed for the features that happen in Singapore, China for the packed install. No issues. Manual system restarts require a non-English OS for as far as the installation and completed. I didn't know that. Now I do. Windows and the install popped up for as far as they appear during install and the uninstallation for as far as the logs may not generate in the silent mode. The chip support as listed down before, right over here again, a little bit better and the processing portions and some other cool stuff as we kind of like go down, but let's get down to the cooler stuff, right? Very basic batch notes, but there's some really great scores we're going to take a look at. Without changing a thing on my computer, going from just the chipset to chipset and running these back to back, you can see that, well, on Cinebench R20, that's a pretty good improvement, about 200 points above what the old set was doing. With 4K coming in and the physics coming into the Let's hit it out of the park with an increase for as far as what's happening with the CPUs, because that's what's ending the performance entanglement for as far as what happens with Firestrike. 
And the DirectX 12 gets a pretty cool increasement for as far as what ends up happening with the CPU score, since that one's a standalone rather than the entanglement of what ends up happening with the graphics and as well as the CPU. So personally myself, I think that this is definitely worth an install. If you have not seen what the performance can be or have never done it, it is worth at least doing so, so it can fix some of the issues that may be prevalent inside of your system. Having a things up to date is probably one of the things that saves me a lot of headaches. Uh, but I don't, right now, one of the headaches that I've been having is OBS. Unfortunately, the display capture is just, it, if you touch it, it just destroys itself. Like if I touched it right now, it would just, not not that, that's, that's a, a window capture, not a display capture, luckily. <laughs> I'm not trying to like point it out because I can just select the image, it's fine. And I have another image point that I can put in. Um, so those two are safe right up there. But anyways, everyone, if you're new to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe. And if you are looking for more new AMD cutting edge news, if it be, well, chipset drivers and or graphics drivers, I'll be around to basically update what's going down in the wickedy wickedy wild west. So if you ever want to see some kind of reboot of that movie, which would be freaking awesome, and I would totally love to be watching that. But if they did, you should totally subscribe to the network. But who knows? <laughs> You'll have to see. I know that's kind of a far fetched one. Wild Wild West too. But I think that'd be kind of cool. Will Smith in his old ages. It'd be kind of cool. It'd be like his like seasoned port. But I'll see everyone in the future. Later.